there and we pretty much they welcomed us and they were really lovely and we had drinks it was just like general chit chat we got um, on really well as well didn't we oh, I yeah, think yeah. like it's completely like different to like texting and like facetiming to like actually seeing that person in in real life and having a, a good laugh and stuff but there were no awkward silences we all had like some stuff in common and it was just really nice like yeah. Just like having a few drinks with friends. But that's also like the same with like new couples as well. I think finding couples like that, you it's not the case of for us, and I think what it should be for new couples as well, it's not about like, oh yeah, you're attractive, we like you, do you like us? There has to be a vibe there at the same time. The, you have to have more than just attractiveness. Yeah. Like let's face it, we've been out and about and we've met some solid ten out of ten worldies, mm -hmm. but they've got personalities like cardboard. Yeah. And and we kind of go, we can't vibe with that. No. Like, you can, you don't get the same you chemistry. Have, like, like, fun. It's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be, like, yeah. a really good laugh. and Yeah. Yeah. But there's much more to it than just having sex with someone else. It's the, it's a build-up to it. It's the initial chat. It's a meeting up for the social. It's having the drinks. It's the the full conversation. Yeah. And then that gets the the chemicals going in your body to kind of mm. go, right, I'm ready to do this. Yeah. Not just in wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and then straight <laughs> out of there. No. But yeah, so we um were having this drink and then he and obviously like you've had I won't say too much, but you was riding the wave a little bit. Yeah, I'd had a few glasses of prosecco. And I remember him saying, Do you girls just want to go upstairs and just kind of just get comfy? And again my heart sank into my arsehole, right? <laughs> And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want him to go upstairs. And <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's been in it for a year. He knows the score. He knows the deal or everything, right? So you guys go upstairs and like, he's talking at me, but I'm not paying attention whatsoever because I'm trying to listen upstairs. So I'm kind of like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, when is it our turn to head upstairs? And Come I'm on, like, I'm getting up. tougher. I'm getting tougher. <laughs> so then you're kind of like giggling, giggling. And then it just goes quiet. And I'm like, oh is happening and he sat there with his drink and he's like he's like what's been going on my mate what's been going on and i'm like should we um do we head upstairs now he's like nah it's all right just relax just relax like they're getting comfy honestly we'll make our way upstairs somehow i'm sat on his sofa with my half naked right and he's fully dressed with my t-shirt off i'm ready to go and he's like He's like, Gage, honestly, he's like, just relax. Like, we're going to go upstairs. And I'm like, I know, bro, but what if, like, you know, like, just, I just want to get started and stuff like that. And I'm like, so yeah, half panicking, half excited, right? And he's like, all right, we'll go upstairs. So I walk into the bedroom with, like, my jeans and my top off. Yeah, my shirt. He's fully dressed and lives like, well, I walk in. And you're laying in the bed and she's pretty much like, she's gone down on you. And you look like you're just absolutely loving it. And Olivia looks at me and all she says is, where's your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I lost it on the stairs. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, Got far so excited. 